Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today, we're going to hit up a band called The Chats. Now, I'll tell you why, because it's just one of those days I've been laughing. Uh, here was my alarm this morning. Are you ready? So, 7 o'clock in the morning, my cat, that I love dearly, coughing up a hairball right by me right so so I wake up to that and 15 minutes later at quarter after seven a marching band is going down the street it's just been that kind of a day and so now I'm out here swatting mosquitoes trying to and I'm like you know this is a really crazy day it's and I'm loving it I'm taking it all in stride I haven't had a bad minute today but it's just a goofy day you know what I mean and I saw this thing on my news feed on, uh, actually on YouTube feed about this band called the chats from Australia and it's they're supposed to be a pretty funny band in the interview so this is a clip from the Today Show in um, Australia so let's go ahead and hit this up so we've got Eamon, Josh and Matt boys just kind of take us back to where it all began um, no, mate, it's Shed, um, out in Bredale. Yeah, we just used to... Yeah. What did you do there in the Shed? Come over here. Have a few uh, beers. So come and join you. Come join the blokes. I don't, think I don't. Yeah. Yeah, so Don't ask that question on TV. One, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Right Home work. One. Yeah. Um, did it take you a long time to get the words together? Because musically you're very good. I've been following you lads for quite some time now. Musically you're fantastic. Um, did, it get, did it take long to get the, the words like of, of great songs like Mama Stole Me Darts? Um, <laughs> get those words right and out there? Yeah, really I connects, mean, eh? Yeah, we don't try too hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, I mean, High Risk uh, Behaviour is your new album coming out. It's actually influenced by the police. Mm. Is that right? Early Not police. the band. No, 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 oh. no. The, the actual police. Cops. I suppose oh, Johnny so, yeah, Cops. Say so, yeah. Only mm. the title. Yeah. Only the title of the album. The title came from when Matt would get done skating places he shouldn't have been. Yeah. Like put him down for high risk behaviour. We yeah. always thought it was like a real funny way to say What it. else were you doing when you were skating? Uh, don't just, say on morning TV. <laughs> Please don't say on morning TV. Um, you're playing Coachella soon, is that right? Yeah. Correct. How good. I mean, that is like climbing the, the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, we go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's exciting stuff, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty sick. Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah. Um, what did you do to your eyebrow? Were, oh. you, were you in a fisty cuff? A what? A fisty cuff, you know, like a... Oh, punch on. Yeah, yeah, punch on. <laughs> no. I have no idea no, what that I was I jumped about. out into the crowd and um, hit myself. It's like so, bleeding and stuff. That's a good haircut. Where do you get your haircut like that? Just by myself. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are here to perform Pub Feed. Yeah. It is an awesome song. What is your go-to meal at the pub? Probably steak. Steak. What about the chips and sauce? Can't get enough of Lucky that. Sauce. Bowl and chips, oh, mushroom and gravy. That's it. Bowl right, and I mean, you're about to, people are right around <laughs> Australia. You're about to see something truly special. Um, this is the chats. These are remarkable young men. They're setting the world on fire. Oh, and remember God. where you saw them first, ladies and gentlemen. The chats. <laughs> Like it so far. Mm. I love that. Oh yeah. Bowl of chips, tomato sauce. I get enough, I'm begging for more. Cause I came here at a quarter to six. And I ain't gonna leave till I get my fix. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice solo, by the way. <laughs> they miss a beat there, maybe? I loved it. Nothing fancy about it. Nothing groundbreaking about it. But just perfect. So what I hear from this is, first of all, just uniquely Australian because of the... They keep their accent. They don't try to hide it. Maybe they can't hide it. I don't know. But it's just... It's just right there. So I love... You know, I love that. I love... Uh, you know, I was just listening um, to something again the other day. I listened to Old Reaction channels too and I was listening to some Ian Dury right Ian Dury kept that cockney accent uh, so distinct in that music and you know it gives it all that flavor and character and same kind of thing here the riff is killer it's simple and then he's got the little short guitar break in there the guy running around the studio the bass player I guess it was losing his hat you know just they just seemed like a, a bunch of uh, yeah, almost kids, but a little older than kids. But just uh, really cool stuff. Um, you know, it kind of reminds me, not just because of the title. I know the word pub is in the title of the song, Pub Feet. But there is a little bit of that pub rock influence that you get from the old bands like Brinsley Schwartz and Graham Parker and all those pub rock, Dr. Feelgood especially. You know, I hear a little bit of that... Um, uh, pub rock influence in here in the best way possible. In other words, it's punk, but it's kind of a bar punk thing, and that to me is pub rock, of course. Uh, not not to be silly with the words there, but pub rock, I can, you know, I sometimes am very, I'm a very literal person, and pub rock literally means, you know, it's kind of a punky version of, well, I've ex you guys know what I'm talking about, but Anyway, uh, I liked it a lot. Uh, simple, I love the lyrics. Um, you know, like I say, in terms of groundbreaking music, uh, this isn't going to change the world. Uh, it's just delightful, it's fun, and I give it an A. I think it's great stuff. It hit the spot this morning. I just, like I said, I'm just having one of those days that's gone in a different direction. Um, my housekeeper, yeah, tough life, I have a housekeeper that's kind of what you do here in Mexico and certain foreign countries but she just became a grandmother today for the very first time so it's just I don't know I mean that's not crazy but it's just another example of a day that's going in all these different directions and I'm just riding the roller coaster and thought let's throw some chats in here from Australia why not so chats from the Today Show in Australia the Australian Today Show loved it uh, the drummer simple but he was right right where he needed to be you know there's a little bit of sloppiness in it so I'm not gonna say it was in the pocket it was sloppy in the best way possible absolutely the best way possible so loved it uh, and then the bass and the guitar like I say it was it was that kind of good sloppy like when you think of um, oh the classic example is the the Rolling Stones really perfected they rehearsed to the point that they would sound sloppy, right? So these guys are just, they sound sloppy, but they know what they're doing. They got it together. Good stuff. Well, let's wrap the video up. Uh, if you like what we're doing on the channel here, hit the like or subscribe button. And uh, thanks for letting me do this outdoors. I know there's a lot of noise. And as we say here in Mexico, Mexico, if I can even say the word, is buen dia. Take care.